Hey guys, it's Luciano Sable with Aspiring Hollywood in Studio City, and uh, we're here with a very, very familiar face, Sean Kanan, who joined us before on, on uh, Aspiring Hollywood, uh, promoting his new book. Why don't you tell us about it, Sean? Uh, the book is called The Modern Gentleman, Cooking and Entertaining with Sean Kanan. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a bit of a hybrid, this book. It's, it's definitely a cookbook, and I teach you how to cook starting from the basics. Um, but it's also a book that talks a lot about what it, what it is to be a gentleman in today's confusing social landscape. Um, I think a lot of guys are walking around a little bit confused, thinking, am I supposed to be the alpha male who's the, the problem solver? Or am I supposed to be the guy that's vulnerable, good with his feelings, the good listener? And the fact of the matter is that it's really parts of both and, and a little bit in between. And, um, you know, I, I had a lot, of, uh, a lot of my male friends said, how come every time I meet a girl I really like, you know, she says, wow, you're a nice guy and sort of slams you in that friend box. And, and a lot of female friends, they, they say, how come every guy I like is a jerk? I only go for the bad boys. And I think a lot of what this book does is it teaches you that you can you can be the bad boy and be a gentleman at the same time and this is a great book for uh, for mothers to give their sons going off to college for the first time because I think that I think that you know knowledge is one of the greatest gifts that a parent can give their child and I think that women can definitely sense uh, the difference between a man who knows and a man who doesn't know agree uh, absolutely do you know what I mean absolutely I think that's very good advice so tell us, where can we find this book? Well, you can get the book uh, at barnesandnoble.com, amazon.com, uh, and you can also get a signed copy on my website, which is www.seancanandthemoderngentleman.com. So Advice. let's, uh, I understand there's some uh, friends of yours from the show. Yep, there are. Uh, who, who are we going to meet? Uh, Christian LeBlanc is here, who plays Michael Baldwin, uh, Young and the Restless. I, I forgot how many Emmys this guy has won. <laughs> Uh, he won't even he won't even lend me one. Uh, Patrika Darbo is here. Um, uh, Kate Linder, who is on The Young and the Restless, who of course has a star in Hollywood Boulevard. She's been playing uh, uh, the role of Esther on Young and the Restless for like 30 years. So um, and it's really nice that they come out to support me. Well, great. Let's go inside and meet them. Okay. <laughs> well, we worked together on Young and the Restless. I've known uh, Sean for a very very long time. So what do you we think about the book? Do you take a look? Well, I'm I'm so excited. I think. I mean, it's so great. And it was so neat because I walked in and I just saw the whole wall of it. And how great, how thrilling Isn't for him. That and that's a great picture, too. Isn't yeah, it? it's a really, really great picture. He's a good guy. If he ever gets in trouble and he needs someone to back up his alibi, I'm the guy that he calls. There you go. So you guys work together, right? I know, we, we've known each other a long time. Actually, we play poker together. Sean's been coming to my house and playing poker for many years now. So did he ever cook for you? I got to ask. Uh, Sh Sean has... Uh, absolutely, absolutely. I've been to his house and he's, he's cooked. Uh, and surprisingly, it was pretty damn good. I mean, the book you would think is a cookbook. It's, it's just for women, but the truth is it's, it's, it's actually directed towards men. Uh, I am a definitely a bachelor when it comes to staying home and getting the ladies to come over. I'd rather just take them out and, and go cook. But the truth is, you know, the, the girls, you, they want to stay in. They want it romantic. And, and Sean somehow knows what he's doing. So, you know, I, I, I'd like to think I already know what I'm doing. But you can always learn when it, in the fine arts of ro romanticizing a woman. Wow, I like that. Romanticizing a woman, guys. That's what it's all about. And that that's and about. that's in this book right here. I got my book. You guys can go to Amazon and get yours or come on down and enjoy it. So so tell the audience how you know Sean. I know sex. It's, it was all about sex. You know, what can I tell you? It's the soap opera world, but sex, yeah, sex, yeah. my wishing <laughs> is saying no. <laughs> You're a married woman. I'm going, I'm not dead, Sean. Anyway, That's no, so we know each other because we're both actors. I did a small little bit in one of his uh, many ventures that he does. And uh, I uh, had a great time, and yeah. that'll be coming out too. And we yeah. had a really fun time. Yes. Yeah, he's a great guy. I love him, and and you have a very stellar career as well. Thank you. What, what's coming up for you? I'm uh, leaving on Sunday to do a film called uh, Mickey Matson oh, wow. and the Copperhead Mysteries. It'll be a nice kids film, and it'll be a lot of fun shooting in Michigan. It's my pleasure to uh, to talk to Christian LeBlanc. This is an honor, truly. I Thank you like so that. much. Finally, <laughs> it's an honor. I hope somebody is taping this. Absolutely. I like a copy of this later. Do we have tape in the camera? Let's make sure we got it. <laughs> I need this. I need this. It makes me feel good. Well, I'm sure I that Sean from work. 
Oh. I'm sure that Sean appreciates you being here. You know, and, yeah, Sean, a lot of people talk about they're going to write a book, they, right. they make plans, but you know, I've been on the road with Sean, we've done comedy together, and this is just another one of those great things where about somebody who's effective in their life and has a great idea, and they make it come about, and uh, I contributed to. Well, very good, and I want to talk to you about that, but um, I also want to talk because our audience members are aspiring actors, filmmakers, directors, producers, oh. and so forth from all over the world. I mean, we get emails and phone calls and, and uh, messages from all over the world about uh, uh, people wanting to make it in Hollywood. So. We're at the book signing, but it's very, very important to show how diversity is is important in an actor's life or a producer's life. Don't you? Don't you? Oh uh, yes, I mean actually that's just good business because beyond everything else, besides being an artist, you know the streets are strewn with fabulous artists who are bad businessmen, and in order to be a successful artist slash businessman and make your living, which which Sean and I and and, and, and many of the people we know and uh, you know we, we make a living at it sure. you have to be a good businessman in anything in life um, and so as a businessman it behooves you to be as diverse as you said as possible I mean a lot of the people I know are not only actors they're writers they're producers they're they're uh, they work in theater they have companies and not only that it's like and especially I've been given the gift of working on daytime uh, for so many years it actually gives you this bully pulpit like I have I had my first art show in my hometown a couple of months ago I'm working on a, a, a children's novel I do my own illustrations for the novel my yeah um, we're producing children's films and uh, it's just that kind because you're because how can you help it you're surrounded by these creative people and I think uh, the one thing I would tell anyone who's going into this business is just to be free with it and and, and your passion is the thing that's going to get you through and also at the very end I, I was trained I came late to this I was science when I was in in, in um in um, university so I graduated in medicine and so I studied late in my career after I'd gotten my first big jobs and I would learn from people like Julie Harris Charlie Nelson Riley people uh, Eileen Brennan people in their 80s so you really get a good look at the fact that sometimes it's the people who hold on the longest win. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's not talent. Sometimes it's not wealth. It's not even... It's really the mental strength to stay in it, stay in the game when everyone else is dropping out. Perseverance. Because that's, it's, it's a tough thing. But again, it's the passion. It, it, please, if you're not... You know, it's like being in the hospital. When I was working in the hospital, I'd work all night at the switchboard. That was my first job in college. And I'd meet the residences, and you'd see the people who were doing it for the wrong reasons. A doctor is a horrible, terrible job if you don't love it. It is relentless. It is soul-crushing. But if you love it, it's if you're passionate about it, it's heaven. It's like, it's like playing every exactly. day. Exactly. Right? And so it's like, it's like anyone. I talked to Susan Finnegar who's a very good friend of mine. She's a chef. And that's what I mean about an artist is not your job. It is how you approach your job. It is not you can be, I, I told in this, my mother was the first artist I ever met. When I saw her cook, she was the first artist I ever met. That's great. That's great. So that's one of those But things. tell us about the recipe you have in this book. Oh, it's oyster <laughs> soup. You know, my mother was, uh, was a, uh, a wonderful cook. She's from New Orleans, so it's a big part of the culture down there. But uh, one of the great things that it meant so much to her was she passed. And uh, we laminated the recipe and gave it out at the funeral. It's one of those things. It was it, when she had six kids, she entered a contest, and she won in the soup cat category, and it's oyster spinach soup. And she won for an original recipe. And these, at the time, were the chefs from La Ruth's and Brennan's and the big restaurants in New Orleans. And she won. And she was just, she's a Cajun woman. That's with great. six kids who work too. That's great. So you gave that recipe to Sean. That's in here. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can't wait to read it, folks. And thank you so much. And again, it is a truly, truly, it is an honor to, to meet you. Of you. Thank, thank you, you so very much. much. Rowan Blanchard. And what have you done recently? Well, um, Spy Kids All the Time in the World is out right now, and that's uh, my movie right now. And I actually just finished shooting a Fox pilot, Little in Common. Are you serious? Yes. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Well, you have a great career already. How old are you? I'm nine, almost ten. Wow, nine, almost ten, folks. That is really, really good. Well, this show that we're shooting here is called Aspiring Hollywood. 
Yes, and it's for um, young actors and filmmakers and directors that are trying to do what, exactly what you're doing. So tell me, what advice would you have for somebody that's nine, almost ten years old who wants to be an actor? Well, there's a lot of rejection, I guess, and a lot of people are going to tell you no and you're not good enough. So you basically have to kind of take that and tell yourself, well, that doesn't really matter. I know what I can do. So that would be my advice, Bob. That is great advice, folks. That's, that's very good. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Can, can you say a couple of words about Sean? How do you know Sean? I know Sean because my dad is um, very, very good friends with him. So I met him. He's kind of known me ever since I was like practically born almost. And so that's how I know Sean. He's a great man, great man. Well, thank you very much for that advice. I really appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Sean and I did a, uh, a play called It's Just Sex for about six months together. So it was a long run. We did about uh, 50 five shows. Oh, well, that's an interesting title to, uh, to work on with Sean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I learned a lot watching Sean work every night. <laughs> Absolutely. But, but, but tell, us, tell us about your projects. What, uh, what are you working on? I, uh, I have a movie that I uh, just finished that's uh, called uh, After the Wizard, and it's a sequel to The Wizard of Oz. So I'm this, the new Tin Man. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I'm in a lot of prosthetic makeup in this movie. But it, this is a story of a little girl named um, uh, Elizabeth who thinks she's Dorothy Gale. She lives in an orphanage in Kansas, and in her imagination, she summons the scarecrow and the Tin Man to come from the land of Oz to help her. So we take a hot air balloon, but we land in New Jersey by accident. So we have to find our, our way. It's a very, very sweet movie. Well, absolutely. The way this business has changed. My father is a, a very successful actor named Peter Mark Richmond. So I grew up in this business. I'm from Los Angeles and I watched my father do tons of television from the 1957, eight through 1995. I was, when, you know, as a young, young boy and uh, into early manhood, I was watching my father just get offers every week but the business changed now you have to create your own opportunities you have to know how to work a camera you have to be able to shoot yourself and you have to be able to think about web ideas and and make scripts up and 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 write stuff and create content and know how to make your demo reel you have to be a you have to know and 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 be and be bold and get you're not you can't sit around and wait to be discovered exactly and, and nowadays it's so easy because of all the technology like you said and distribution in the last 10 years has changed tremendously with the internet I mean the internet is really the TV of the future oh absolutely I mean you have to have a website you have to have you know you have to be you have to look like someone that they want to hire so you have to be professional you have to have right pictures and a website and you know, treat it like a career. It's not a hobby. Exactly. Well, thank you so much for joining us on Aspiring Hollywood. Yeah, thank, thank you for you. the kind nice words. And, and we have a very, very dear friend uh, joining us today. I've known her forever. And, uh, and her name is Charlene Tilton, as you guys uh, will most likely recognize. Hi, Hi Luciana. So good to see you, darling. It's very good to see you. It's been it's such a long time. very good at this. I know you as an actor. He's a wonderful actor, and I love well, the fact that you're interviewing. Well, I know. Well, so you know, I started. Job for God's sake. I, I, I know. I started. I started out as a as a reporter. You know that for, for Chicago. Right. I totally yeah. forgot about that. Yeah. No one's <laughs> so, so good. Okay. So, tell me how you know Sean. I have known Sean through um, Anthony Turk, a mutual friend, and through other. I've just known Sean over the years in different events and things like that, mm -hmm. and um, we are dear, dear friends. I love him madly. He's awesome. You know, we were just talking about him being an actor and writing a book, you know, and I said, look, our audience members will want to know what's aspiring Hollywood doing at a book sign, right? So I think it's very important for, for them to know that just because you're an actor or a producer or a writer, that doesn't mean that you stop there. Right? You have to be very diversified in the things that you do in your life just so that in case something doesn't pan out, you have something to, to fall back on. No, you're, you're absolutely right. Um, you do have to have other interests, hopefully, whatever they are. You know my daughter cherishes a real animal rights activist and she's, you know, we're constantly rescuing. We call them our handy, capable dogs. They're 
a paralyzed dog, a dog with one eye. We, we, we adopt and rescue animals that people won't rescue mm -hmm. and take time with. Um, and she's a wonderful singer, but she's also very much involved with that. I work at Octors with Autism, and I'm very involved with those amazingly gifted, talented people. Um, I'm also teaching myself now an audition technique class, oh, wow. and, oh, and I'm loving it. I'm obsessed with my students, and I just found I'm really good at teaching. And um, Well, I didn't know about that. Tell, what, is there a website, or is there, how do people get in touch with you? Yes, um, Tilton Rush Audition Technique, R-U-S-C-H, um, Tilton Rush Audition Technique, www.tiltonrush audition technique and um, it's a great class once a month I have a very high-powered industry professional come in I have had um, Patrick Rush the casting director from who just cast the new Dallas he cast Chuck and everything he came in and um, as a favor to me he's a dear dear friend and a, you know an amazing casting director I've had uh, Michael Pomerico six-time Emmy Award winning director from all my children so we focus on different genres every week and we have great guests in the class and it's a lot of fun so any aspiring people come come and join us absolutely and this is the person that you have to listen to I mean Charlene has been in a million and one projects right if not more maybe a million and two million. so <laughs> well, and Dallas is now coming back to TNT the new Dallas TV series um, and I'm doing that and I'm also doing the Tammy Faye Baker story so wow that's great Tammy Faye Baker so when is that coming out um, I don't know we are in pre-production right now so oh very I'll keep you posted well, on that. You have one. to keep in touch with me now that we uh, we reconnected yes. right here with, with Sean. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so, 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 but tell me uh, uh, for the actors out there in the crowd, what advice? Just a quick freebie. Yeah, what advice would you have for them when when they're um, let's say that they're in the Midwest or maybe in Europe or South America and they want to move out to Hollywood? What advice do you? Have? Well, I actually have quite a few of those students of mine that have moved out here, young young aspiring actors and um, I'm kind of like Mama Charlene, I'm taking them all under my wing trying to protect them all. Right. Um, you have to surround yourself with, as you know, with really good people and people that you can trust and you have to um, know how you can trust them and you have to have financial support so you're not desperate to just take any job or anything that comes along and work study 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 it's all about talent and your craft you know that it is you have to be good at this right. and, um, and, and and you have to be safe folks as well I mean because yeah. that's very important be careful who you talk to and and who you listen to because yeah. there's a lot of bad advice out there and bad people too. there are I mean mostly everybody I think is pretty good but yes there are absolutely you know um, early on I, I my first accountant was um, not good and I he ended up spending seven years in jail but after he took like more than half of my money so right. I lost a lot of money with him so exactly well I'm sure that a lot of people are gonna come see you for uh, for acting uh, coaching well, and, thank you uh, good good and watch the new Dallas when it comes out on TNT and you go to London quite often I know the last time we spoke to you. yeah I did um, I did a play there last year the musical Cinderella I was the wicked stepmother which was so much fun and so I love it out there so I, yeah I love to work well thank you so much for joining us on Aspiring Hollywood I really appreciate seeing you well thank you I can't I can't wait to read Sean's book uh, do you think we can learn anything from this I know there's some nice recipes in there from what I'm told okay well you know you know I'm a cook right you remember that oh, of course. I, I'm a great cook I'm a gourmet chef yeah. I've studied with some of the top chefs I can't sew a button on but I love to cook <laughs> I can't sew at all, but I love to cook, so I'm interested in reading. Maybe Sean could teach us all a thing or two or three. There you go. Now Sean has a commercial. <laughs> <laughs>